Hi right, guys, uh, quick video today, second one in a week, what's going on? Um, basically, we've had a day of uh, painting around at my house, picked Ryan up this morning, uh, and then we've had sort of eight hours of um, painting the board, doing some base bits with the um, terrain that we've got, and then Ryan's been showing me how to paint uh, orcs, or at least paint in general, because to be honest, my painting is shocking. So I've learned quite a lot today and uh, I've just taken some clips during the day so I'm just going to put them in some sort of sequence and let you see what we've been up to. Hope you enjoy guys. Thank you guys. Okay, goodness. Yeah, I still need a bit more spray. So, update on the board, Ryan's been spritzing and spraying away, something new, put some going dark paint on there as well, have to wait and see how that turns out. The buildings have all had a base spray. Got the windows open because that is a lot of spray paint. Bond's looking so much better for some colour on it though. And then moving over here. Apologies for the brightness. He's been spraying like mad. So not only has he done the arcs, he's done the buildings. Reflection on that window, isn't there? That's the art building from the video the other day that is about to spray up. I'm currently in here doing <coughs> batch putting together of some arc boys that I got off eBay. I've got a ton of bits in a bits box, and then uh, obviously the models over there. We're in full sort of painting, modelling spree at the minute. So the board found its new home over in this corner which is fantastic because we've got the light up above we're going to get some better lighting over that end of the room and the board can stay there permanently so when it was over here as you'll have seen in other battle reports we kept having to move it and put it down because my wife wasn't very happy that it was in the in the You're way. You're a liar. Apparently, I'm a liar. You packed it all away. No one else. It didn't leave a lot of room for us to get round. So over here is perfect because it just literally never has to move. We'll have better lighting from the windows at the back, and then we can rig up some other bits and pieces there. So it's absolutely perfect. And then it just, yeah, leaves plenty of room over here for all the modelling and bits and pieces. So, we'll see you in the next clip. So, we're currently having a bit of a paint in session. Ryan, who is very good at painting, his attempt to teach me, <coughs> who is very, very shite, how to do uh, better than I've been doing. So we've currently been <coughs> doctoring these Orc War Bikers that I got off eBay, putting them to the paint scheme of the army. 
you can you can tell between me and my professional little bit there and my little stash of paints over there versus somebody that enjoys painting <laughs> and does it regularly um, big big difference even those what was it little uh, balls that you put into the, the uh, paint to shake them up no. I thought you wanted to play marbles outside no they have they have a, a, a purpose um, we'll just glance on this guy I'm not going to show you much of him because it's still work in progress but Mortarian is coming as well and you've already seen the bits and pieces that we were spritzing up earlier apparently <coughs> you don't just put your brushes in water and leave them overnight this is what I used to do which absolutely fucks them up yes I'd have got bollocked every time um, there's actual proper brush soap that really cleans your brushes up nicely again I didn't know this I just used to stick them in water and that's probably why I knackered them at a rate of knots yeah. um, but you know very big learning uh, experience for me this afternoon so we've had a pretty successful afternoon with uh, well, we've done four bikers completely different to what we started at and Ryan's been teaching me about highlighting and everything else sounds very <coughs> simple because I'm sure some of you guys out there watching will be uh, be a lot better painter than me but I was always very much slap a colour on job done I've done bloody highlighting I've done all sorts of texturing um, Ryan had these really bloody cool um, what do you call them? Not uh, pastes. Um, pigments. Pigments. Weathering pigment. That you sort of brush on and then activate with water that do different bits and pieces. So I'll we'll have a look at these guys. So the front base is there. The front wheels, sorry. Ignore the bases. Dirt and everything else. And the lights on the front. It's a bit bright here, but you can obviously tell the, uh, the white bits in there. The green arms that I would have normally just painted one colour and left. Add some wag flesh on and then some moot green edge highlighting. The exhausts are different. This guy. That was me with a hat. Beforehand, I would have just put one block colour on and thought, fuck it. Ryan's done some really nice bits and pieces on the weapons, so it actually looks like these orcs have seen some combat and not just come out of the showroom. Rust pigment activated onto the exhaust. highlighted the teeth out don't know if I've done all of the teeth yet this guy has come out particularly well again you can see loads of different colour variations on there which beforehand <coughs> would have just been the Sam one brush technique roadshow Don't get me wrong, I'm not claiming that I've done all these myself, but Ryan's been taking me through step by step on ways that I can massively improve my painting. Uh, and I think the outcome's been really good. I don't know if we've got something to compare, apart from the previous images. So now that Ryan showed some techniques, we can apply them to this uh, Death Dread here. So that's been base sprayed in uh, basically like an Avaland sunset. And then it's had um, Agrax. Agrax put in obviously for the recesses. And we'll do the same with that Agrax. 
get started. This is one of the old Gorka Morka trucks, which I remember from being a kid. So I got this on eBay thinking, woohoo! Bit of nostalgia. I actually then bought two more Ork trucks, which, <coughs> yeah, let's have a size comparison. And that's on top of a, a pot as well. So, massive, uh, massive difference in them. Um, but again, it's nostalgic. I'm still going to use it on the tabletop. It is an Ork truck, so I'm still going to play with that bad boy. It's nice for me to give him some arms. Yeah, so I, I've got a, I've got a thing with um, with the models. So I've got an Imperial Guard Valkyrie that has a, a pilot with no head. This is an Orc truck with a driver with no arms. It seems to be a running theme in all the models I've got. When it comes to vehicles, they, they really should not be operating heavy machinery. And the steering wheel that needs to go. Then. Yeah, there's no steering wheel. It just goes straight forward. There's no messing on. We'll sort that out. <laughs> but yeah, it's been uh, been very productive and really helpful for me because I am a shit painter, but I've learnt quite a few bits that should take up uh, take my painting up a few notches.